Hola. Hoy vamos a conjugar el verbo gemir. Hi, today we will conjugate the verb gemir, which means to moan. Okay, this is one more of the regular verbs beginning with G that we have learned. Este es uno más de los verbos irregulares que comienzan con la letra G. So, you will see that this verb here, it presents an irregularity in the present tense and also in the simple past. Okay? Van a ver que este verbo es irregular en el presente y en el pasado simple. Why is it irregular? We have said that if the root of the verb changes, then that is an irregularity. And you can see how the root that is him here it changes to him, okay? G I M, okay? And even in the, in the past here and here and here, okay? I told you before that unlike in English, in Spanish most irregular verbs are irregular Uh, mainly in the, in the present tense, and just some are also irregular in the past. In English it is the other way around. Most uh, irregular verbs are irregular in the past, right? Well, uh, it can be uh, simple past, or, or end, uh, the, the present, uh, sorry, the past, the present perfect, okay? In simple past or present perfect. So, uh, English irregular verbs are usually irregular only in the past, right? And just a very few of them are also irregular in the present, like the verb to be, okay? In Spanish, most verbs are irregular in the present, right? So, let's begin conjugating the verb gemir, which means to moan, okay? Yo gimo, I moan. For example, Yo gimo de dolor means I moan of pain, okay? Or I moan in pain, right? Because you feel pain, you moan. Yo gimo de dolor. Tu gimes is you moan. El gime or ella gime, he moans or she moans. Nosotros gemimos, we moan. Vosotros gemís. You plural moan, ustedes gimen, you plural moan, and ellos gimen, they moan. For example, they are, they moan because they hurt their leg, okay? Ellos gimen porque se lastimaron la pierna. Se lastimaron means they hurt. La pierna is the leg or their leg, right? Let's see the past, simple past, okay? Yo gemí, yo gemí, is I moaned. Tú gemiste, él o ella gimió. Nosotros gemimos, vosotros gemisteis. Ustedes gimieron and ellos gimieron. Right? They moan. For example, they moaned in pain because they cut their hand. Okay? Or they, um, actually, cut, they, they cut their hands. It will make more sense if we use a singular, right? You moaned in pain because you hurt your hand, right? Tú gemiste de dolor porque te lastimaste la mano. Okay? Te lastimaste la mano means you hurt your hand, right? Now, let's see the simple future. Yo gemiré. I will moan. Tú gemirás. Él gemirá. Nosotros gemiremos. Vosotros gemiréis. Ustedes gemirán and ellos gemirán. Okay? For example, we can say, if you do that, you will moan in pain. Okay? I can say, si tú haces eso, if you do that, right? Si tú haces eso, or si haces eso, 
then, entonces, gemirás de dolor. Gemirás de dolor, you will moan in pain. ¿Ok? The other way of saying, of speaking in the, in the future is, instead of saying, you will moan, is, you are going to moan, ok? Using the verb to go as, as auxiliary verb, right? In Spanish as well. Yo voy a gemir is, I am going to moan. Tú vas a gemir. Él va a gemir. Nosotros vamos a gemir. Vosotros vais a gemir. Ustedes van a gemir. And ellos van a gemir. ¿Ok? For example, um, if they do this, or if they hurt their hand, let's say, if they do this, they will moan in pain. Si ellos hacen esto, van a a gemir de dolor, ok? Si ellos hacen esto means if they do this. Let's see the present continuous or gerundio. Yo estoy gimiendo, ok? I am moaning. Tú estás gimiendo. Él está gimiendo. Nosotros estamos gimiendo. Vosotros estáis gimiendo. Ustedes están gimiendo and ellos están gimiendo. For example, let's ask, why is he moaning in pain? ¿Por qué está gimiendo de dolor? ¿Por qué está gimiendo de dolor? Would be, why is he moaning in pain? Or, why is he moaning? ¿Por qué está gimiendo? We can say, now let's answer. He is moaning because he hurt his foot. Él está gimiendo porque se lastimó el pie. El pie means the foot, or in this case, his foot, okay? We do not say his foot, okay? We say the foot, but where is the, the, the word that uh, identifies the foot as his? Because when we the verb lastimar or to hurt in Spanish is a reflexive verb, okay? This means that we say se lastimó, which means hurt himself, okay? So if we say hurt himself the foot, it means it's his foot, okay? In Spanish, the verb to hurt it's a, is a reflexive verb. Remember that. That's why we do not need to specify his foot. We just say the foot or the hand or the head, okay? For example, he hurt his head. We would say, él se lastimó la cabeza, the head, okay? So, let's see the imperative, okay? Imperativo afirmativo. Gime, moan, or don't moan, no gimas. Now for he, gima or no gima, for he or for she, right? For us, gimamos, let's moan, or let's not moan would be no gimamos. For you in the plural, in the Spanish form, would be gemid vosotros or no gimais for moan and do not moan. Okay? Now the Latin American you plural we would say giman for moan and no giman for do not moan. And for they we would say giman and no giman. Okay? So this would be the imperative. So remember that Always, in Spanish, the affirmative and the negative are different for you singular and you plural in the Spanish form, okay? Not the Latin American, which is the same, the affirmative.